How do you improve on a world-class automobile? You attach it to one of the best names in the business, Jerry Lane Cadillac. Once again, Jerry Lane leads the rest in selling the best. The 2013 Cadillac XTS and ATS are bringing the future forward with features like the innovative Q driver interface. Q blends first-of-its-kind technology with highly intelligent design, bringing the intuitive control of smartphones and tablets safely to the road. Visit our new Jerry Lane Cadillac showroom just off I-10 and Segan on Rieger Road. The most effective way to sell a product is to make it real. Anytime you endorse a product, you're telling somebody, it's good for me and my family, it'll be good for you and your family. An endorsed product will help listeners make that same decision about products that they could potentially use for the rest of their lives. tell you something here that you're not going to believe, but it's true. Well, Splash is a 13,000 square foot, two level hundreds of dance club. It's been an outside uh, courtyard, it's been a warehouse uh, during the hurricane where we redid the, the roofs. Uh, we found um, lighting fixtures that were dated back to 1942. So it's got a long history and uh, it was a dream of Corey and I's uh, to always have a club. We ended up being in the right position at the right time and we got it. Love it. Wouldn't trade it for the world. Should I wait for this party to go? I mean, I would. <laughs> the apparitions or, or ghost stuff just puts a different uh, spin on everything. My DJs in the DJ booth uh, have think they've seen apparitions or, or sightings of, of something. The balcony is one. I think the balcony is probably related to you know when it collapsed. Common Grounds was the, was the name at the time. We came over here to the Common Ground, went in there, and it was in a courtyard, and I was close to the band. They played outside, and. Uh, we were listening to and they were starting to pretty much, I, I think it was about 9 or 9.30, something like that, they started. And it was uh, Bill Ray's band. And they played and then Bill was in the, in the middle of a song and it stopped and then he pointed to the back. He said, y'all help those people, help them. I turned around and the balcony had fallen. So I would say there were several hundred people in the courtyard when it fell and it had crushed the people underneath them. Our other one that we had was when um, one of the previous owners um, committed suicide in his office. It was a security camera and it, it recorded it all. And uh, when I came here, no, I never had any incidents of um, paranormal experiences or anything like that. But in this building, I've had several, several. So I, 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 I have to say now that I, I do believe. So this is where the balcony collapsed. What back in back in the '70s, this used to be where used to just, where we just walked in was an open court. So this used to be all outside. Okay. And this was the balcony that they made that went around here and then across our stage. So it was kind of like an L shape at the time. Mm -hmm. And the performance would be here. The balcony went around here. That's when this section, which is no more longer there, fell to the ground. All right. When is it? It's up, it just keeps going in and out. Now. Right now? Now it's off. Now it's on. It's on? Off. Oh. I think James is getting a little flustered. <clears throat> is, is this one of the cords you made? This is where his, his office and was. And it is colder in here than... You just walked in. Now you it, found a hot, how warm it was. It feels like there's an AC on in here. See, and you can tell. It, it's the coldest room in, in, the, in the place. And we're upstairs, and you just came from that bar, and you saw how, how warm it was. And But you come in here, and you feel how cool it is. It's always like this. Those wires are clean. Doo, doo, doo. 
he was actually at his desk. His desk was over here. They had an actual surveillance camera that he that he used that was attached to here, and they actually videoed his suicide. And from what I understand was he had a, he had like a 22 caliber, and he shot himself in the head. Didn't work, and he actually had to shoot himself again. How agonizing can that be? So did he pass out? Did any? I mean, like that's crazy. Yeah, that's just he was right there at his desk, and that's and that's and that's where he did it. And from what I understand, it took him three to four days before they actually found him. So what we have to do is go to the areas that we're going to be, I guess, investigating is the right word, and just see like if there's any hot spots. And hot spots, I guess that means like whenever it jumps on the EMF meter. So that means that it's not phenomenal. Paranormal. <laughs> I think Corey said in the men's bathroom is also where they saw him which is right up here, oh. uh, if I remember what he told Megan Wright. This was actually, um, like I said, when the health club was here, this door in here is where the showers were. There's actually working showers in there, but we keep it locked. We use it for storage now, but these showers are in here, and this is the bathroom. But I've had some employees also um, seen shadows, and it's always the, the white shirt and blue pants, and that's what they did find. That's him. what more than one person has said they Yes. And that's what yep. they found him in whenever? And when he passed away, that's what he was passed away in, in the white shirt. But they never see the head. The head's always, always gone. It's always the white shirt and blue pants. Like ironic. Yes, very ironic. So while people are using the bathroom, they see things? <laughs> Hey Jim, what time is it? 10.32 and 52 seconds. Do you want to like go like, to, um, I'll let you do your paranormal thing. What, what do you mean? Like, you know, talk to your people. My people? Mm -hmm. They said that he wears white pants and a blue shirt. They don't know what his face looks like because it's not there. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> your light went out. He didn't like your comment. Uh-oh. Yeah? Can you guys get a chance? Um, maybe come back down this way. There's just a lot of, like, rushes going on in the hallway where I'm at. The DJ booth? Like, below the DJ booth. Like, right before you get to the staircase. Like, by the dressing room? Okay. Let's just head that way. She's probably freaking out. Okay. Oh, yeah, um, hold on, I just, I wasn't going to say anything for a while, because I just thought, oh, wait, 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 oh, wait. <laughs> you might change it. Okay. I seriously think, if there's, there's some audio in here, right? Yeah, yeah. I seriously think if you guys go back and listen to it, like, you'll see me on here, like, looking over my shoulder so many times, because it's not me being paranoid, it's like, it literally sounded similar to how it sounded when you guys actually came up here. Like there was like, but there was for sure footsteps. I just like, it was like a, it was like a quiet ruckus. Like someone was like doing something down there. If we turn all these fans off and then maybe you guys can go down there and turn all the lights off and see if you hear it after we shut this down. Yeah. I don't know how to turn that one off. It's this one? Yeah. Like, was it, a, of this it was like coming and going, so or just like me. constant, like it sounded like someone just walking it's back and forth? I mean, it wasn't yeah. like for a while. But it's not on, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The stuff isn't on. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, the stuff isn't on. This is like all the lights and everything. This is hooked up to. Like that? I don't want to Okay. I think it's this one. Walking. Do you hear that? Do y'all hear that? I just heard it. I heard it over y'all talking. No, I just heard it again. 
No, it's like it's There's a like, guy like, talking. Say what? Is he? Man, I need to pee. Let's see. Okay. Um, just keep your camera on so you get my audio. Okay. I've been hearing it sporadically, like since I got up here. It's nothing too disrupting, but like when you start to catch it, and then you realize that it's happening again and again, and you're like, this is not going on inside of my head. That's actually a sound that's happening down there. And it sounds a little too similar to footsteps. Do you think it was upstairs, or do you think it was... Because what I heard, it could have been right there. I wonder, should we go sit in the, like, the stairway? Should you just go sit in the stairway with this and the EVP and see if you can hear like the footsteps any louder? Maybe. I'm not the kind of person that's just going to sit there and listen. If I hear something, I'm done. Let's go up. So if there's anybody in here walking around, can you make our EMF meter go off to at least yellow? I mean, red would be really cool, but I don't want to be an over here. This thing is like... Does this thing jump with sound or it just jumps all the time? Because it's just jumping. Is that you? I feel like we're getting cussed out right now. Okay. You get the time? That's not from, okay, wait, hello. Okay, so this is my voice. This is my voice. This is mine. Wah. All right, it's Bo upstairs in the booth at 10.53.45. Okay, if the gentleman that we heard talking is here right now, can you talk to us a little bit more? I want to listen to it. Can I give me your this? Yeah, you can allow to listen to it. Can you hear me talking right now? It's static. Is that what it is that's making? Why would it be static? Wait, wait. We're here to find out what happened, so if you can, you can talk to us if you want, or you can, we have a, a meter right there that you can make the lights flash just to let us know that you're here if you want to talk to us.
It's like it's a, almost like a heartbeat, but then like maybe some stabs. Were you here when the balcony collapsed? If you're here when the balcony collapsed, can you make our meter go off? Is it still bouncing? Not really. It's not moving at all. Okay, tag, tag, let's go. Tag, let's. Your turn, your turn. What? You, t you, you can come do this over here. Do you want me to come sit with you? Nah, you could just, you, you, you could come do it. What's going on? Just, let's just, you. No, if something's happening, you need to stay. No, he said you have to stay. Hold on, I'm coming with you with my camera. Are you okay? Let's... What? Come on. What's going on? Well, let me tell you. Okay. Okay, so this is what's going on. We're here, just being here, and... Are you okay? No. No. No, I'm... No. Do you want to move? Yes. Do you, do you want me to stay here? Yes. Okay. I don't I even know how to explain. I don't know why this is bothering me so bad. It's bothering you bad. Yes. I see it in your eyes. Okay, well, if you're uncomfortable... Did you just go. say something, though? No, I did not. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to let y'all hang out here for a little bit. Who am I hanging out with? Down there. Wait, I have to stay. This is where it would have collapsed. And the meter's going off. Eleven fifty three forty one, and it's James and Bo behind the stage downstairs starting session. So this would have been where the balcony collapsed, because all up there would have been where it buckled. Should I start asking questions, or should I...? Yeah, go for it. Um, okay, well, I guess... Number one question is, what's... Well, why... Well, why are you here? I mean, do, do you want people to know that you're here?
It's hard to breathe right here. Yeah, it's really confined. It's like my chest is heavy. That is really heavy. Or do like deep breaths. It's just like when you you know when you take a deep breath and you can feel like almost like something sitting. Oh, I'm sorry, almost like something sitting on your chest. Yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. Just a lot of weight. Yeah. Oh, if I get paralyzed again, I'm gonna be so angry. What followed us? Huh? What followed us? <laughs> that's not funny. You sure that's not funny? Thank you. What's here in this building? Is it related to when the balcony collapsed? not them coming down the stairs. These stairs mm -hmm. are solid. the sound? Is that all like that? Lights going out? Yeah. You want to stop the session and go get us? Oh, you had it was a meter? Yeah. James? James? What just happened? I really don't want to go in there.
are going to make me faint. You, you took the camera away from me last time I tried to film. You got scared and you thought yeah, you were going to drop it. James is in James there. James is in the closet. Well, how am I supposed to put him in the closet? No, it really is a closet. <laughs> what am I filming? He's literally in a closet. Not like he's in that figurative closet. Like, he's literally. I'm just going to stop. James is in the suicide room. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I'm supposed to be filming him and Jen. We're just filming, girl. Just film. Just film away. I don't feel like it. I got to film enough tonight. <sighs> Baby arm gets tired. You don't even have your jacket on. I know. Newborn. In your. I thought it was your Jane. Yeah. Coming to get you. Hi. What's up? What you doing? I'm trying to get this camera working. What's wrong with it? I do not know. It's just not working. Ouch. Yeah. Are you getting annoyed with us yelling for you? Hello? Hey. Hello? Megan. Give her that. <laughs> I need the walkie. <laughs> Good thing. How do you improve on a world-class automobile? You attach it to one of the best names in the business, Jerry Lane Cadillac. Once again, Jerry Lane leads the rest in selling the best. The 2013 Cadillac XTS and ATS are bringing the future forward with features like the innovative Q driver interface. Q blends first-of-its-kind technology with highly intelligent design, bringing the intuitive control of smartphones and tablets safely to the road. Visit our new Jerry Lane Cadillac showroom just off I-10 and Segan on Rieger Road.